Hello everyone, right here I have a 2015 Toyota Sienna XLE. And today I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. Press the unlock button once to unlock the driver's door and press it a second time to unlock the rest of the car. This Sienna is equipped with Toyota's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just tap the area behind, again, any of the front door handles. Along with that smart keyless entry, it's a push button start system. So, to start the Sienna, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the right of the steering wheel. An electric rack and pinion power steering system is standard in the XL30 Sienna. Standard for the XLE trim is a leather steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2. The 2015 Sienna features a 6-speed automatic transmission as standard. This transmission has a sport mode and a manual shifting option using the gear lever. A reverse camera with guidance signs is standard. The 2015 Sienna comes with safety features such as 8 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, vehicle stability control, traction control, a blind spot monitor, rear cross traffic alert, a tire pressure monitoring system, an alarm system, and an immobilizer. Latch child seat anchor points are found on the outer two middle row seats as well as the middle and the right third row seats. Seventeen inch seven twin spoke machine finished alloy rims are present on the XLE trim. This Sienna uses two three five sixty R seventeen Vredstein Quattro five all season tires. The disc brakes are ventilated in front and solid at the back. McPherson struts and a twist beam setup make up the front and the rear suspension respectively. Named after the city of Siena in Italy, the Sienna is an MPV built by Toyota since late nineteen ninety seven. Featuring a conventional front-engine front-wheel drive configuration, the Sienna replaces the first-generation Previa which had a mid-engine rear-wheel drive configuration. Built in the USA, the Sienna is primarily sold in North America, however, it has also been sold in South Korea since 2011. It has seen three generations so far, the first-generation XL10 between 1997 and 2002, the second-generation XL20 between 2003 and 2009, and the 3rd generation XL30 since 2010. The XL30 Sienna debuted at the 2009 Los Angeles Auto Show before arriving at dealers in February 2010 for the 2011 model year. Two faces were given to the XL30 Sienna, one for the 2015 model year and another for the 2018 model year. The 2015 Sienna is powered by Toyota's 2GR-FE 3.5L dual of 8 cams, 24 valves, Naturally aspirated V6 petrol engine with multi-point fuel injection and dual VVTi technology. It produces 266 horsepower at 6200 rpm and 332Nm of torque at 4700 rpm. 0 to 100 km power takes 8.2 seconds and the top speed is 176 km per hour. 76 liters is the fuel tank size 
and the combined fuel consumption for the 2015 Sienna Automatic is 11.2 litres per 100 kilometres. Carbon dioxide emissions is 260 grams per kilometre, and the Sienna is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Exterior features of the 2015 Sienna XLE include automatic halogen projector headlights, daytime running lights, front fog lights, indicators on the front fenders, body-coloured side mirrors, body-coloured door handles with chrome highlights, a bright metallic front grille with chrome surround, and black roof rails. As required by European law, this Sienna has been fitted with a rear fog light. Storage, bottle holder, speaker, window controls, all of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions, window lock, central locking, and your mirror controls. This one controls the vents for the third row seats, vehicle stability control, rear fog light as shown earlier, blind spot monitoring, down here. This button turns off the power rear doors function. Storage. Pull this lever to release the fuel door. Sienna floor mats. And the driver's seat in this Sienna XLE does get full powered adjustments. All of the controls are located right down there together with the power lumbar support. Alright. So let's go ahead and see how it revs. The parking brake in the Sienna is foot operated. The pedal is located right here and it is currently engaged. To disengage it, push the pedal once and to engage it, simply push the pedal back down. Triple Zone Automatic Climate Control System 
the displays right here, front and rear defrost, different modes, driver side temperature, automatic, off button, fan speed, sync means if you have it turned on, the driver side will control all of the temperature controls, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature controls. Passenger side temperature, air conditioning, recirculation, rear temperature, rear fan speed, rear modes, and activating the rear air conditioning system. Right down here, USB and auxiliary ports, heated seats for the driver and front passenger, power outlet, cup holders, storage, another power outlet down here, more storage, cup holders, a bit of like a place to put your phone and whatnot above, and storage below. The 2015 Sienna XLE comes with the Antune Audio Plus touch screen head unit with a 7-inch infotainment display, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system that the Sienna uses is actually quite alright. We're currently in the Bluetooth audio streaming menu with the current song playing information. If available, artist and album, T the title is in the middle, track number, song duration, you can select device right here, browse, the different folders, random, repeat, play, pause, and your sound system settings, bass mid treble, balance fader. To change the source, hit the source button and you have the um, option to choose FM, AM, CD, USB, auxiliary and all that. You can reorder it down below. Hit audio to go to this menu, apps. You can select audio, phone, messages, eco, weather, traffic and setup. Under setup, your various settings, general, home screen, voice, display, so on and so forth. You can turn off the display below. Home goes back to your home menu, your contacts to the left, audio menu to the right, and once in the home menu, you can also access your setup menu. Volume and power, tuning knob, Bluetooth telephone menu, seat track, your play pause, CD player, eject button for the CD player, front quarter windows, central locking, light and indicator controls, audio controls, volume, seat track, different mode selection, Press and hold the button to mute the system, voice control, Bluetooth telephone controls, wiper controls, multi-information display controls, up and down goes between the different uh, sub-menus, left and right goes between the different main menus, hit the button in the middle to select, and hit the return button to go back. Currently, range and average fuel consumption, trip meter and average speed, trip meter and elapsed time, display off, and back to the range and average fuel consumption. Next up, media, vehicle messages, and settings. Under settings, language, units, drive info 1, 2, and 3, indicator, guide, and all that. This button goes back to the driving data menu. Right down here, cruise control. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using 
deceiver right here. Front center armrest for the driver and front passenger. Auto dimming rear view mirror with a compass and uh, American home link system. Sunglass holder and a mirror to keep tabs on your rear passengers. Interior lights, controls for the powered rear doors and powered rear hatch, and right here, sunroof controls. It is one touch automatic. With a shade. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a couple of lights. And the driver does get a grip handle. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. There are five ways to operate the powered rear doors in this 2015 Sienna. Now, to gain access to the last row of seats, pull the lever to flip the seat back forward and flip the seat base up. Then, move the whole seat forward. Now, with the middle row seats set in this position, I do feel quite comfortable back here. I get about this much in terms of legroom and about this much in terms of headroom. You can obviously adjust the position of the middle row seats so you can have more legroom back here and whatnot. But for both sides, cup holders, storage, vents that open as mentioned earlier on, above, grip handles, hooks, aircon vents, and lights. They also um, sunshades back here. Now for the middle row and the driver's seat set in a position that I would feel comfortable in, I do get a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get more than this. And about this much in terms of headroom. Um, as mentioned earlier, you can adjust the position of the middle row seats to suit you whatever configuration you want it to be in. But on the front seat backs, storage pockets, hooks, 
in the middle, storage, cup holders, and this seat is actually removable. You have to do um, pull some straps and levers to remove it, and you can store it into the boot. Beneath the seat are a couple of cup holders and storage areas, or you can also use it to climb into the last row of seats. But on both sides for the middle row, window control, bottle holder, storage, sunshades for the windows, right above, grip handles, hooks, aircon vents, and lights. Rear climate control panel, fan speed, temperature off, um, different modes, and automatic. And obviously, grip handles on the B pillars. There are three ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2015 Sienna. One thousand one hundred and ten liters, two thousand four hundred and seventy liters, and four thousand two hundred and fifty liters are the maximum boot space figures in the Sienna with all the seats in place, with the third row seats folded, and with all the rear seats folded respectively. On both sides of the boot are hooks. To the left, there is a storage area, and to the right, there is a light and a power outlet. Adjustable headrests for all rows of seats in this car. Window control, central locking, speaker, storage, bottle holder. And the front passenger seat in this Sienna does get full powered adjustments as well. With all of the controls located right down there.
dual glove box setup a smaller area above and a larger lockable area below grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a couple of lights as well Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2015 Toyota Sienna XLE. Thanks for watching and goodbye.